Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 30 of this video series. In this session, we'll look at P and E functions of set analysis in ClickView. So these two functions are rarely used in ClickView in combination with set analysis. And these functions only work inside set modifiers only. If you're trying to use these functions outside the set modifiers, it's of no use. So let's quickly jump into ClickView, then we'll see where to use these functions. The function names itself are self-explanatory. The P is referred to possible and uh, the E is for excluding. Right. Let's see how these functions will work in ClickView real time. So I'll be creating a chart of uh, type strike table. So I'll take one of the dimension that is country and we have a measure unit sold so let's make it as unit sum of units sold then i'll give a label to this expression hash units then we'll click on finish then we'll we got a stride table which includes country wise unit sold for various companies as we haven't included the second dimension, it is not further categorized. Now, my intention is I want to do sum of sales or sum of units where the Ford company has existed. Right? If any country is not having the Ford as its manufacturer or else unit, so uh, then we will exclude that wherever the possibility of Ford sales are there we want to show those countries sales only so i'll be writing take only the countries which has ford in it so the possibility of ford company in various countries so we are using p here and the p function is supplying the country's list to the country so so the p function may have set expression inside that so set expression usually starts with the floor process and ends with floor process and i'll be keeping some modifier inside that so our modifier is if any country is having ford in its company's list then only we will be uh, calculating some of units sold so the company is equals to Ford and apply press OK let's see so these are the companies sorry these are the countries which has Ford as a company in its country now we have Australia Canada France uh, it's not including Germany means that Germany is not having Ford in its car sellers list let's click on Germany so that we will see the filter so the company filter is not having the Ford for Germany associated right so this is how we can uh, get sales of possible combinations with respect of the related dimension or as associated dimension so here the expression is this this expression is finding countries which are having Ford as company in its list and then assigning those countries to this this part the left side part right so this is how the P function is working then let's do the opposite one let's put E here Now see, so whichever the countries are not having the Ford in its list, it is resulting. So it's simply P, E is opposite to the P. It is excluding the countries which has Ford's, Ford as a company in its list. So this is how E function will work. Whether you're keeping a dimension outside the, the set expression in P or E function doesn't matter because it will consider the country itself here. So whatsoever the uh, dimension which you're referring p and e function for 
so that will be by default included here if i put country or not it doesn't matters so whether you keep country or not it gives you the same result so this is how p and e function will work let's see if i place minus here in e function so this is a minus operator which uses exclusion so e is for excluding and from e we are excluding ford so the e function without any operator inside it is giving these results if i put minus equals to what it will be doing then apply so it is giving you two countries what do i mean what these two countries have unique and why this expression is giving you two countries only a data set which has only ford in its country so if there is no minus operator in here this will give us the countries which has non ford companies in it if we want the countries which has only ford in its list we have to keep this minus symbol in here so this is how the p and e functions will works in click view so that's all for the session thanks for watching the video please subscribe